Oh, hey, g'day guys. I didn't see you there, but while you're there, thanks for joining me today on this episode of Golf IQ, the first one here on YouTube. And if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen some little gold Golf IQ nuggets. And the game of golf is a little tricky. There are a lot of ways to get the job done, but you need to make sure what you're doing matches up. So let's get started with today's episode of Golf IQ, all about driver T height. Let's go. Okay guys, if you are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that little notification bell as well, just so that you don't miss out on any of the new content. And I've got a question for you, so drop this down below. Would you consider yourself a low tier of the ball or do you tee it high and let it fly? Okay, so a very good general rule is that we want to have about half the ball sitting above the top of the driver. Now again, that's a very good general rule. It's not going to apply to everybody. Based on your tendencies, and we'll chat about what in a second, we need to make sure that we match everything up so that you get the best possible contact. Let's go look at it. The two considerations that we need to look at when establishing the correct tee height for your golf swing is one, attack angle. So are you hitting down on the ball or are you hitting up on the ball? And two, arc height. So how low does your club head get through the impact area? Those two considerations, we can look at them together. And we also look at them in isolation as well. Let's chat about it a little more. Okay, let's talk about attack angle first. So, like we said before, how much we're either hitting up on the ball or how much we're hitting down on the ball. Now, ideally we want to hit up on the ball, but we'll chat about that here shortly. So, we'll use this magnetic pointer here to kind of give us a bit of an idea as to which direction the club is moving here. So, we're going to start with the downward attack angle. And let's go with the low T and the high T. So, with the high T and a downward attack angle, there's a very good chance that the club is going to come through too low we're going to make contact too high up on the face above the center of gravity that's going to give us a ball flight where we're going to lose a lot of transfer of energy through that impact area now if we have it teed a little lower you can see how the center of the ball and the center of the club line up a little bit better so if you're hitting down on the ball you might want to consider teeing the ball a little bit lower and again we're going to chat about that here shortly now if you're someone that hits up on the ball let's do the same thing with the high tee in this case you can see how the center of the ball center of the club match up pretty well and we're going to get really good transfer of energy with the low tee you're going to see that the strike would be below the center of gravity and we're not going to get that transfer of energy we're not going to get the distance that we otherwise would so you can see how things flipped around for that low tee versus the high tee for attack angle going up and attack angle going down. Now let's switch the conversation over to arc height because this is really important. So arc height, basically how low that club is traveling through that impact area. And we'll take out whether we're hitting up on it or down on it out of the equation here again. So if we're someone with a really low arc height, that club comes through that impact area really low, might almost hit the grass, it might not, that's no problem at all either. But if you're someone that has like a higher arc height, for example, that club is not gonna come through as low the center of the club, the center of gravity, which we're trying to essentially almost make contact and line up with the center of the golf ball, those aren't gonna match up. That's totally different if you're low or high, makes total sense. Someone with a low arc height needs a lower T height. Someone with a high arc height, okay, obviously, higher T height.
Okay, now here's where it can get a little tricky. So if you're someone like me, for example, I have a very low arc height, but I do hit up on the ball. So I need to tee the ball down just a little bit. If I tee it too high, I'm gonna hit it high up on the club face. I'm gonna get a high launch. I'm gonna lose energy, not what I'm looking for. Now, if you're someone that has an upward attack angle and a high arc height, then you're gonna to need to tee that thing on top of a ladder because you're gonna need that height in order to make good solid contact. Contact. Now a lot of people that I see on the lesson tee, they're hitting down on the golf ball. So if you are hitting down on it, when you're playing on the course, I would recommend teeing at the height that's going to allow you to hit in the center and get the transfer of energy that will give you maximum distance. Now if you're practicing on the range, you're someone that hits down on it, I would encourage you to tee it up a little bit because that'll encourage you to want to sweep the ball, move your swing in the right direction and hit longer drives. Good combo. Okay guys, so remember when it comes to playing golf and making swing changes, make sure that you're making a change that makes sense, that's right for you. Don't just change it because you saw a video or you read something or someone told you something. Understand why. If somebody says you need to tee it higher, does that make sense? Will I hit the ball in the center of the face? If you're someone that is hitting too high up on the club face, do you need to tee it lower? Perhaps. So anytime you make a change, it needs to make sense. All right, guys, that is it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. Let's summarize very quickly. If you are someone that has that low arc height, you might need to tee it a little lower. If you're someone that has that high arc, might need to tee it higher. If you're down on it, you might need to tee it a little lower. And of course, if you're up on it, you might need to tee it a little higher. Make sure that you make the change that's right for you. And you can always use a little bit of athlete's foot spray on that club face to see where you are making contact with the ball. Guys, if you like what you saw, please hit the like button. It does help my channel a lot. Share it with one of your friends that might have the same questions about tee height as well. Comment down below what you thought of this video. Do you have anything else that I can help you with. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell just so that you're up to date on when I do post. Again, all that stuff helps the channel as well, helps me grow, helps me help you. And of course, guys, until next time, good golfing.